It's the Battle of the Tigers as our one and two Grambling State Tigers travel to take on the number nine ranked Tigers of Auburn. An interview before the game, Coach Hobbs came in with a plan and he executed it to perfection. First quarter action, Martez Carter takes the handoff up the middle, breaks the tackle and gains seven. Next play, Kincaid keeps the option right. Has some green in front of him, and he gains seven more yards. A few plays later, Kincaid drops back and hits Clark on the curl route, and the sophomore wideout picks up 18. Then Tez Carter takes the sweep right, and look at the lane opened up by the old line. He turns on the Jets and gains 24 yards. Then number four punches it in from two yards out. GSU strikes first. But Auburn has a high-powered offense. Jared Stidham drops back. He scrambles to his right. Avoids Bridgewater and picks up 13. Later in the drive, Stidham goes back to the air. He hits Craig Myers on the outside. He sheds the tackle and is off to the races. He goes 39 yards to the house. We're all knotted up at seven. Grambling comes back out running. Carter darts up the middle for a gain of eight. The DK1 goes option right, has a lot of space. He bumps into a blocker, but picks up the first down. Grambling continues to gash the Auburn's defense with the option. Kincaid picks up 15 in the first. Later in the drive, Carter would get his second rushing touchdown on the day. Grambling back up on top. Ensuing kickoff, Mendez kicks it short, and Carrion Johnson catches it at the 15. And check out the huge blocks for the kickoff returner. Johnson turns on the Jets, and he could go all the way. Uh, he's finally pushed out at the one-yard line. A few plays later, Petway takes the handoff, bounces it outside, and walks into the end zone. We're all tied up again. Two minutes left in the half, Kincaid drops back. He scrambles left, avoids the defender, tries to juke another, and he fumbles. Williams from Auburn dives on the ball. The Tigers take over, and Auburn turns turnovers into points. Stidham keeps the option right, avoids three grambling defenders, and takes it into the end zone. 21-14 Auburn, but Grambling keeps on fighting. Kincaid goes back to the air and hits route across the middle for a gain of 20. Then Kincaid throws a dangerous jump ball to Pate, but the sophomore goes up and gets it for a 22-yard pickup. Later, DK1 shows off his touch, this time hitting route across the middle for a gain of 21. And Kincaid would tie it up with this dart to Clark on the slant. We go into the half tied at 21 apiece. This is a shocker. Nobody saw Grambling hanging with the number nine team in the nation. Start of the third, Grambling's running game comes out strong. Flowers goes up the gut for eight. Then Kincaid keeps the option right, gets great blocking downfield, and picks up 17. Next play, Kincaid drops back, tries to force a pass to Davis, and is picked off by Williams. Auburn takes over, and Pentway shows off his wheels. He takes the sweep right, follows his blocks, and turns on the Jets. He's finally pushed out after a huge game. Then Stidham calls his own number, sheds the Bridgewater tackle, and is dragged down after a 17-yard gain. And the sophomore QB gets his second rushing touchdown on the day, giving Auburn the lead. But here comes Grambling. Carter takes the handoff, weaves through traffic for an 11-yard gain. Then on fourth down, Kincaid drops back and hits Salmon on the slant. He gets a lot of green in front of him. He turns it upfield for a gain of 21. Next play, Carter finds a small hole up the middle. He's able to pick up 15 and another Grambling first. Then the senior back gets his third rushing touchdown on the day. And what's this? Grambling is going for two. Martez Carter takes the handoff and fights into the end zone. Grambling takes the one-point lead. But back and forth we go. Stidham hits Davis across the middle wide open, and he's finally brought down after a 31-yard pickup. Then Petway takes the counter right, cuts it back inside, bounces off defenders, and gains 13. A few plays later, Stidham hits Stove in the back of the end zone. Auburn takes the lead back. The Tigers were set up for a two-point conversion, and Stidham hits Canella wide open in the end zone. Auburn goes up a touchdown. Less than a minute left for GSU. Kincaid with the deep drop. He hits route across the middle. He sheds a tackle and gets into Auburn territory. A few plays later, Kincaid drops back. He scrambles to his left, tucks the ball, and picks up 22 and gets out of bounds. Then Kincaid goes back to the air. He scrambles right, then throws a dart to Salmon on the sideline. First and goal, GSU. Then Kincaid drops back one more time. And he threads the needle to Davis in the end zone. Touchdown, Grambling. And it looks like Hobbs is going for the win. 
Kincaid takes the option right, cuts it inside, and fights into the end zone. Grambling takes the lead. Seven seconds left for Auburn. Stidham drops back and hits Davis on the corner route, and he gets out of bounds. Three seconds left, last play of the game. Stidham drops back. He throws it as far as he can, and it falls to the ground. They did it. Grambling State University just pulled off the biggest upset in college football history. 37 to 36 is your final. If you haven't yet, you need to subscribe right now and smash that thumbs up button. What a game. DK1 finished 11 of 15 for 169 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. Grambling won this game on the ground. Tess Carter rushed for 178 yards and three touchdowns. Devontae Kincaid also chipped in by going over 100 yards as well. Route and Salmon came up with some big clutch catches in this game, and the defense was able to come up with a big stop that helped the offense get back into the end zone. What a game for our Grambling State Tigers and Coach Hobbs. Thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said before, hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up. And make sure you follow your boy on all social media. Links are in the description at Big C Got Game. And we'll talk about our matchup with Colorado State, but it's time to party and celebrate this win. Grambling State just upset the number nine team in the nation. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.